on YouTube is Vinny the greatest of all Texas here and today I just received the ostrich awning from Rugged Bounce Supply Co that's imported from South Africa made by Bit Country 4x4. This is how the awning comes directly from the manufacturer Big Country 4x4 and it's shipped from South Africa down to Houston, Texas and it was shipped up here to Jacksonville, Florida UPS. So I took off this very thick plastic cover that's pretty much like I'd say waterproof water sealed so that it can protect it on this long trip and then I'll go ahead and open it up and show you everything that inside the packet and we'll see all the contents included so you can see inside the box that I just cut be very careful that you're not gonna cut and possibly cut your awning if you're using a very sharp knife like I have so you can just see that everything's packaged very securely it has foam bubble wrap and I want to say this should be the LED light kit so we'll go ahead and open it up and see what's in there so this is pretty cool the LED strip that you can connect to your battery terminals or you can do it to a cigarette lighter your um, DC and then this is the control knob right here which it's a uh, 6000k to 2700k so you can change the color on that and this is the LED strip that we're gonna install and check it out later ostrich wing awning from big country 4x4 so right now i'm just going to show you this is the black right hand side which is your passenger side deployable awning you can see it's a very strong canvas i'm already pretty excited just seeing that knowing how sturdy this is the front's velcroed on where the zipper is so i'm just going to open this up really strong thick zippers you can tell it's not your little normal zippers you typically have on awnings this is the green awning right here very nice and it's packaged again with more protection on the inside so i'm going to look for the hardware the box came in today and this is going to be having all of your hardware inside the kit right here you can already see these two right here are your two t brackets that are going to actually mount on your roof rack and then this right here is your one Z bracket. And then you have one M6 plate. It's gonna be this right here that you'll have to attach onto the awning. One leading arm support bracket. And then you have some additional hardware right here, which I'll see where those will should be for a tie down point. Bottle opener that goes right there is pretty cool. And then you also have your instructions right here that will give you detailed layout for whichever roof rack you have, how you will follow it with also um, really good photos to give you a better explanation. Cause I always like seeing stuff. It's kind of hard for me just to read. I like to have a visual image. And so this is gonna give you even more resources for the install. This is gonna be your rear mounting point. And in the kit, you have a second bracket that you're supposed to put. So you can put this no less on the instructions. It says you're supposed to put it no less than 70 71 inches spaced apart right here is where I'm gonna put mine at 71 inches so I'm gonna take off these screws on the back insert them into this track right here cut little slits to put the bar right there and once that's on then I'll have my two brackets for the rear then you need to make sure that you have on your back plate you got to leave some space for your Z bracket so you need about five and a half inches or so from this to the back which should be the rest of the rack to add on your Z bracket it. and so that once you get this set up really simple to put your T mounts on there which so with this bracket right here you're gonna want to remove these little nuts to slide in your slots on the back of your awning and then we measured the 71 inches out so we'll get this in there from here you can see that I have them in the slot and then I can just get a little tool and then slide them to the right measurements that I'm trying to get which is going to be 71 inches is the least amount so once I get these slid over here across this track, then we'll put the bracket right there, cut two little slots. So from here, you see we got the 71 inch mark. So I went ahead and put two little puncture holes to get the screws through on the back of the awning so I can fit this right there to mount it. So right now you can see I have installed the M6 track plate and I put the um, track bolt into position and then I used the uh, M6 square nuts into the backing of the grooves. After that, you know, I cut a little slit into the canvas bag to fit 
these bolts through make sure they're very tight and sturdy measured it now it's gonna be a whole lot easier just to get the uh you know t bracket on the roof rack and then it'll be able to set it up easier for there back there you got the z bracket which gives it a lot of support and then there's another bracket right next to it and then if you come over here there's the front bracket right there i feel like it's going to be very sturdy and not going to have any issues but if you have a front on a roof rack not a big country 4x4 roof rack like this one you're probably going to want to get they're going to um request a second z bracket for the front due to it being not as strong as the big country 4x4 roof bracket which is welded aluminum compared to modular setups all the bolts and hardware that come with the uh, big country 4x4 kit are going to be stainless steel so no rust issues and if you notice inside the awning right here there's most newer ones are going to have just two poles if you get a third pole the only reason you would do that is if you're going to put the wall kit that they sell for this awning it adds additional weight to it so that's why you would need the two poles or possibly three like this one has but but if you don't plan on getting the wall kit then you wouldn't it wouldn't require you to deploy the poles or need them as you can see in here tie down points in case it gets extremely windy you can tie this down but right now there's a slight little gust and there is no issue and then this is the main bracket piece that mounts to the roof rack mount another thing that i haven't done mainly when it's raining you're gonna want to pop up these stands right here and what that will do is allow the water to not pile up on top of the awning but overall been a spectacular um, quality awning and i don't mind the larger size because it just means it's easier to deploy and i hope that this video helps you in making your purchase and deciding which awning is best for you and i just have to say like if you make this choice you won't be upset Set. I know I'm not because starting off from the traditional awnings that you just deploy um, rolling out and then propping up takes a long time you burn out your forearms you're not always trying to get a workout out on the trail or while camping and then the other thing is that the second style awning I had just the quality and the material if you go back and check my old videos you could see a video on that one and I will post a new video once I get the additional wall kit just to show you how that sets up and then I'm gonna also install the lighting but you can see there's very stout zippers in there very strong zippers good canvas material follow me on instagram greatest of all texas for more uh, fj content camping gear reviews and i'll see you later have a good one